Tonight, the victims were remembered at a prayer vigil. Rebecca Jarvis is at St. Rose Catholic Church in Newtown. And Scott, the people of Newtown came here tonight by the hundreds to mourn and pray, and churches across the community looked much like this one, overflowing with people and grief. They came from every part of Connecticut to mourn the greatest loss this community has ever known. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal spoke for the nation. You are sending a message to all of America. And believe me, the hearts and prayers of America are with you tonight. Even the Pope sent his condolences, delivered by Monsignor Bob Weiss. I convey my heartfelt grief and the assurance of my personal prayers to the victims and their families. In the aftermath of this senseless tragedy, I ask God our Father to console all those who mourn. Lilia Alvarez's daughter was at the school where the massacre took place. Right now I came to support everybody that unfortunately has, were not lucky as I am. And I, I am thankful that God protected my daughter and I'm able to hug her. Newtown High School teacher Doug Russell came with his family to mourn a peer. She's an exciting, she was exuberant, she was just uh, an incredible educator and, and to lose somebody like that in our district, it's sad because they lost a leader today at, at Sandy Hook. Inside the church, grief hung heavy in the air as members of the community tried to come to terms with the unthinkable. Right now we have 20 new saints. 20 beautiful angels and 20 people, little angels, who are going to look over us for all the days to come. And on Sunday, Scott, this community plans to come together again at Newtown High School for another vigil. Rebecca, thank you.